Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode two of FTB Genesis. And uh, we just finished off our, uh, well, there's electrodynamic theory. Oh, that gives me more charcoal. Nice. That's just for having the, uh, the coal generator. Uh, emergency repairs. We finished up initiate reboot. And that'll give me some fruit tea from IC2 Classic. All right, cool. Now from here, energy to matter. Now that the system has been rebooted, we can start providing you with more direct assistance. Head over to the synthetic acquisitions chapter, which will allow you to submit power into the system to create material goods to assist you in your endeavors. Cool, and that'll give me a cracked gym the com uh, combatant. Okay. Not quite EMC. <laughs> okay, that works. Then simulated reality, I need 100,000 power and go to simulation matrix. Okay. Provide you with an environment, better climate control so you can grow some of the seeds in the vault. This will be your first time utilizing the simulation matrix. It may be overwhelming, but we'll guide you through the process. First, head over to the simulation matrix just out front. Should be fine. Once you have there and provide enough energy, click the reward in this quest to load in the simulation. Okay. So me come over here because right now we're uh, basically just kind of wasting power actually it's wasted all right so uh do 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 what is that quest called i think it's the the hundred thousand forge energy this one right ah oh, yeah emergency repairs here we go that's it and boom it dumped 509 in there okay charcoal you cannot mouse wheel in this in or out of this inventory, unfortunately. And that can go away. And yep, yeah, okay. But that is going to take a little bit. I guess we can head over to the simulation area, right? Do, 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 do. Hey, task completed. All right, nice. And creative screen from RF Tools Utility. I don't know what that's going to be showing me, but it'll show me something. Oh, that's an anvil. I didn't even realize that. Cool. So we have a free anvil. I guess we can use that to rename things. Quest completed. Simulated reality. And activate simulation. Boom. There we go. Oh my god, look at that. We have dirt. Got farmland. I'm guessing there's probably water underneath that. There's a house. A <laughs> farmhouse. There is a cockroach. Oh, it's Frank. Okay. Uh, let's not kill Frank then. Uh, we've got melon juice, okay, and straw. We've got some hemp seeds there. I need to make some hop sticks. We've got extinguished campfires. Hello, what are you? Cyan tulip and cyan rose. Nothing. We've got nature's blessing. All right, cool. Those may be used to bone meal crops. We've got some IC2 fertilizer. Just bookcase up there. And all right. So we need to get some stuff planted. And we got crop sticks here. Give. Um, we did need there was a quest for that, right? Okay, simulated reality, also unformatted. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and claim that and then encoded reality. Okay, there we go. There's a simulation, we need to encode it onto the spatial disk we provided for you. Once encoded, you'll be able to load the simulation again and unload it as often as you need. Save it on the disk, insert the spatial disk into the spatial I.O. port by the simulation matrix. Once inserted, apply a redstone signal by pressing the glowing button. If everything is encoded, the simulation should unload and now be stored on the disk. To load the simulation, simply move the disk back to the left side of the I.O. port and press the button again. Make sure 
not to lose your discs. Name your discs in an anvil. Okay. Head over to the rehabil rehabilitation chapter to continue working with your new farmland. All right. Crop seed, sugar cane, and the cropolizer. All right. And then there is selective breeding. We got the crop analyzer. That'll give me a bunch of crop sticks, some mushroom stew, thank God for food, and reusable battery. Never run your crops, never left click to obtain the seed pouch if they aren't fully grown. Keeping it on your hotbar will allow one probe to display your myriad statistics. All right, cool. And then wheat seeds, like me, more wheat seeds. And some soul sand. Okay. Fertilizer is the best thing for plants to keep the soil and nutrients up and enhance the growth rate of your plants. You may not have access to recycling it for scrap. In a pinch, normal wheat seeds will work as fertilizer as well. Just right click them onto a crop stick you've already planted and it will add fertilizer to the soil. Your plants need nutrients in the soil and hydration as well as air quality. Three factors uh, apply towards the plant's needs. Higher tier plants will have higher needs and will die without them. One of the best ways to achieve this is, uh, is with sur a subsoil. Certain soils will boost the farmland. Subsoils can go up to four deep below the farmland. A good option is soil sand. It provides lots of nutrients but not much water, so make sure your plants are getting hydration manually or do it with a crop matron. Water source blocks near them does not count. Okay. Reap what you sow. Make sure the crops you do not harvest. Or make sure you, you do not harvest your new crops too soon. You're often able to, you're often able to tell what the new crop spirit plant is until it's fully grown. Stick reed, for example, looks exactly like sugarcane until its final growth stage when it gets amber coated droplets on it. R and Jesus take the wheel. All right, sticky resin, and then. Luck does not favor us. Luckily, with sufficient biodiversity, we can synthesize the rubber. Uh, obtain at least some plant matter from attempting to crossbreed and crossbreed the stick reeds, and we will, or we should be able to more, or should be able to pre-produce it for you more directly. All right. And there's the crop matron, which we need a machine block. So we need iron first for that one. Bonsai, bonsai. Miniaturize many common or early variants. Oh, hello. Uh, during center simulations, we have adapted the crop sticks to be able to accept and replicate the saplings. Plant the saplings of your choice on crop sticks to create a miniature bonsai tree farm. Well, that is cool. Um, right. That's dark oak leaves. That's birch. All right. Interesting. Go ahead and clean this up. And hey, we got an azalea. All right, so there's our beetroot. Let me just go ahead and pop that up. Let me grab this guy. Nope, doesn't work with azalea. Okay. Uh, that's moss. There you go. That was a light source on top of there. Okay. Whoops. All right, so before I get too much into this, what was the way out again? Can't tell. Everything's all black. This is all black. Yeah, anti block. Yeah. Black anti block. Hmm. Something was putting up particles there. Uh, we do have some mushroom stew. Advancement comforting. Okay, then... Wasn't the entrance like over this way? <laughs> no idea where the way out is. Ah. There it is. God, you cannot see that at all. All right. In you go. I... Okay. 
Okay, there's nothing in the simulation chamber now. Then I can go through there. Give another whack. Hey, look at that. All right. Okay, I need to try to remember where the hell this friggin' thing is in the future. Oh, we got an oak sapling. That's what I wanted. Um, oh, I have to submit it? Okay. It'll give me basic seed enhancer, combined with any seed bag to upgrade it to 555. Crop sticks, and a choice of saplings. Uh, we're gonna hold off for now, right? I mean, I did get birch, so... Hey, look at that. Nice. So crossbreeding is a thing that we're going to need, need to be getting into here soon. All right. Crop Analyzer can do much more than just identify the seed variants. If you hold its mode switch hotkey and right-click, you'll switch into breeding mode. In breeding mode, you can input various crops into the breeding slots, which represent the four adjacent crops next to your breeding cross sticks. It will then display your chances of getting each type of crop. Switch to this mode and put poor sugar cane in. See what products you can create. And... Here we see the chances per breeding cycle of getting stick read. Less than 2% chance. Not great. Luckily, you'll be getting a bunch of other useful crops along the way. You can greatly speed up this process along, uh, along by filling your field with breeding rows and then using lots of fertilizers. This is how you'll learn to create many new seed variations to obtain a myriad of resources. Snow block. Okay, and it says save it for later. Gotcha. Will do. So if we grab you, uh, what is my mode switch key? So that's a, a thing. I don't know what it is. Um, jetpack mode. Mode switch key for IC2 is M. Okay. Well, then what is conflicting with M? Okay. Material is from building gadgets, open map. Yeah, see, I knew there was something on there. Uh, can I do... Yeah, we'll just do asterisk, or uh, apostrophe. Mode breeding, right click. Hey, look at that. And then if I hit breed. Okay, and this is what we'll get. 57% of the time we'll get sugarcane. And then there's bamboo, there is stickweed, cactus, acacia. Oh wow, yeah, there's a lot of things we can get out of this. Oh, and I like cocoa beans, hemp. All right, cool. So we need to start here for now. And didn't I have some sugar cane around here somewhere? Uh, let's go ahead and do wheat. What do we get here? Wheat, potatoes. You know, actually, wheat might not be a bad thing to start with as well. Seriously? Oh, rainbow flower. Okay, I'm like, grow cauldrons? Okay. Vanilla hops? Okay. And we can even get stick read out of that, but at like a 0.11% chance. There we go. Fertilizer is zero, water is zero, weed X is zero. Okay. So. Crop analyzer. Just Andalan Clone Wars. Okay. Make sure you never lose important seeds or uh, give yourself extra breeding pairs by cloning your seeds. To clone your plants, take the plant you normally or you want to clone and plant it normally in the center. 
and then around it place four sets of double crop stakes with no other crops near them. Each of the four will become a perfect clone of the parent plant. Sticky resin, and then, yeah, we need stick breeds for that, which we may end up doing this. If, <laughs> if we end up with three stacks of sugar cane and no stick reed, then we will be doing that. Double. All right, cool. So let me do that. I'm going to do you there. Do another wheat seed there. Uh, we do have some fertilizer. Crop seed sugar cane. I knew I had them around somewhere. Okay. So. Let me just do like, let's do like two of each for right now. Do three on that one. And two, right. So let me do one, two, three, four. We'll do one, two, three, four. If I shift, no, it only does one. Okay. Like Agricraft, which is something I haven't really touched in a while. Uh, if you hold shift and right click, it puts down both, which is very handy. Uh, Sugarcane, you know, one, two, three, and four. And these are already, yeah, five, five, fives. So three, four. One, two, one, two. All right, sweet. And the stats go up to it looks like 31 on each. Thirteen out of fifteen, thirteen. Okay, so yeah, this is putting off light level of fifteen. It was fourteen, thirteen. Yeah, fourteen. All right, so yeah, bright white one. Huh? Okay. Well, we'll uh, let you guys do your thing for now. Um, That is a birch sapling. I have not chosen which saplings I want yet. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Dependency, simulated inferno, a dangerous path. Okay. MBT filter, crop IC2 dandelion. Okay. Flower species can be directly transformed into seeds from the flowers by, or from the flowers for breeding by placing Pour them onto crop sticks. Breed some dandelions and poppies. It can be useful for crafting and breeding other plants later. Let me finish getting this stuff out of here. There, much better. And let's get that rid of this as well. Growth stage two already, out of three. Nice. So I need to get these fully grown. And we've got our birch over here. So let's put dark oak there. And just for kicks, we will... Uh, Double crop, stick that, and see what we can get out of it. Hmm. No more saplings yet. Okay. Um, stage grown. Unknown crop. All right. You look like you could use some fertilizer. You have not done anything yet? Okay. Come 
on, give me more saplings. Oh, I just got an apple. Okay, cool. Which I can get apples from dark oak trees, so that'll be nice once I, uh, my dark oak starts, you know, producing over there. All right, yeah, one out of four. One out of four. This stuff over here was already fertilized. That's kind of handy. Uh, what can I do with you? Cold fruit tea, which we can then basically heat up somehow. Need water of some kind, okay. Uh, item life upgrade from Pneumatocraft. Make a spider eye using generalized overworld predictions. Horse feed. Apple sprouts from Cyclic. Yes, I need three more apples to do that, though. That will be a good way of getting food for right now. Kind of, sort of. I mean, it's not the greatest method, but... That's cool. Like, so we ended up with another sugar cane seed. That's fine. We'll uh, get you there, and then we'll just plant you like here. And I have not scanned it, so it doesn't have the extra information. Okay. Hey, you crossbred. You have not done the thing yet. Those are all grown. Oh, look at you. Unknown crop. I think we can tell that that's going to be mushrooms. It didn't even... I thought the plants might actually have to be, like, fully grown before it would crossbreed, but I guess not. Alright, so how do we make fertilizer from IC2? We need scrap and bone meal, or fertilizer and two scrap to make one more. Okay. Gotcha. Now, let's, um, I'm going to hold off on the, the stuff for now. Back to getting started. Here we go. Now, give me overgrowth fertilizer, which I have no idea what it does, but it looks fancy. It's all glowy and stuff. All right, and... Let's see, it was... Which chapter was it? Okay, well, a dangerous path is something we can... Well, as soon as we get rubber, we can start on. Thermal extractions, that looks like nether stuff. Okay. Engineer creation. Okay. Sprouting new life. Dirt will give me 16 more dirt. Devastated by radiation, I need to uh, find some water within the protected zone to rehydrate some soil. Uh, look out front, listen to the sound of flowing water. Dig down, find a reservoir, underground aquifers. Place some dried salt blocks into the water to transform them into dirt. Cool. And then bone meal. Uh, gather some wood slabs and get a composter. Oh, okay. Duh. They forgot about the composter. All right, a little bit of time has passed, and we just got ourselves some bone meal. And let's see. So bone meal, and then fertilizer, because I still had some on me. Yeah, bone meal isn't enough, but we can turn it into fertilizer. One thing I am curious about, though, is I did have those tomato seeds. Hey, look at that. So we can bone meal these. You cannot put the farmer's light crops, looks like, into crop sticks. So, and doing some crossbreeding. I did manage to get, I got sweet berries, I got brown mushrooms, and over here, I got oak. So, we have oak, birch, and dark oak. So I am going to finally claim this quest, and we're going to go for spruce. Uh, spruce, there we go. 
because, well, I like sprues, so. And let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll put you there. And I've got two oak logs off of the uh, oak sapling already, too. So, giving two logs at a time is not terrible. I right-clicked it. Dang it, I should have. Don't need more wheat seeds. We're good on wheat. This might be stick reed. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. And using wheat seeds on these, like the quest book suggested, only gives 25 fertilizer per seed. And it only will uh, boost it up to 75. Oh, hey, cool. Let's do that, actually. And we have beetroot. Nice. A little bit more food. There's that. That can stay. Same with that. I'll leave the bowl there, too, I guess. We are getting a decent amount of sugar cane and whatnot, though. Nice. Got ourselves some berries. Oh, well, we got four berries off that. Now there is berry pie, fruit tea. I need tea though for that. Uh, there's the cork seed pouch. Vial of unnaming from apotheosis. Okay. Grilled salmon is a thing. Fruit salad. Sweet berry cookies. Okay. That would be probably the thing to do then, right? And I did make some bread as well. So we're finally, we finally have food. <laughs> Thank God for that. But right now I need resin. Also, Frank is gone. I have no idea where Frank's at. He's named, so he didn't despawn, but he's somewhere. <laughs> Cockroaches flee light sources, so there's no telling how far away he went. I mean, he may still be in his you know, room, or... He may be somewhere in the rest of the vault. He may be outside by now. I don't know. I'll, I'll find Frank later. I did not like the sound of that. And also, where we're at right now is not claimed. So. Alright. Um... Oh, hey, cool. More berries. Let's go and leave those here as well. So the other thing I can do is while waiting for stuff to grow up is like this, I think, is a melon or a pumpkin, one or the other. Uh, sugar cane again. Okay. Do that. And those can go in there. Uh, we have this dried salt. And I don't have a way of moving water right now, but uh, there is water. Well, the quest book mentioned it's, you know, kind of down below. Let me get some, some torches made up. Come on, give. Thank you. Uh, do you do do do? Those there. Might need a new sword here soon. Probably will. But, uh... I heard you, zombie. You gotta be joking me, really? Already a skeleton there waiting for me? Oh, well, found the water. Oh, that's odd, but okay. Come on. I need to get my torch. Alright, so it said 
place dried salt down in water, right? Place it here. Oh, wow, that's like instant. Okay. That's cyan terracotta, so that is, yeah. A lot of water down here. Okay, let's go see if that skeleton is still going to be there and being a nuisance. There we go. Now I can heal. Well, there's a creeper there. Run away! <laughs> Run away! That hurt. Dang it. Yep, I died. Uh, oh, we have Corel, uh Tombstone, right? Do we have... We have Simple Tombstone. Okay. Can I teleport? No. Alright, so imagine it's just the Tombstone without all the extras. Bum 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 bum. Is that a fishing zombie? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, it's a fishing pole. Okay, yep, that's the thing. All right. Oh, you got me. Okay. Trying to escape Skeleton, though, that was uh, kind of odd, because I could have sworn it was a freaking zombie that was wailing on me. Alright, let's go get my stuff back. Again, this time we're not going to mess around, we're just going to run in, grab our stuff, and get the hell out. Get back. Ah! Okay, fishing zombies are actually kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. And they are so good at aiming, too. Oh, I can't aim that well with a freaking fishing pole. Why are these guys so good at it? There's two of them, at least, I can tell. Yeah. Mm. And shot by a skeleton. What the? Thank you. That one's dead. That one's dead now. Okay. 
Fishing zombies are dead. Now I can get out of here finally. Ah. Freaking skeletons, man. Oh. What do we get for... Oh, melon juice doesn't actually give anything. Okay. Alright, well, we got... The quest done, anyway, for dirt. Um, sprouting new life. Here we go. And an emerald carrot. Increases horse jump height. Tempt to hoe dirt. And put those away for now. Let's go back to our simulation chamber. Oh, that's... We've already gotten two stacks of sugar cane. So yeah, the, that does... That quest is not going to take very long to, to pull off. Uh, nope, you're wheat. I don't want that. You are something or other. We'll do that. Melon! Thank you. We ended up with two melon seeds. Okay. Do that. Do that. That and that. Okay. And that is, of course, sugar cane. Yet again. Bravo. Alright, but we do have access to melons now. So that is another plus. You are something. This is uh, an IC2 hemp that I found. Was uh, in one of the boxes in here. All right, so we need to attempt to hoe dirt, right? Okay. That didn't count because apparently I hoed grass. Right. I'm not sure what it wants me to do. I've run that now. Uh, it's going to be forever dirt. No, no, it's a path. Okay. So, looks like we got another berry bush already. All right. And we got a tomato. Nice. So what is this quest wanting me to do? That's what I'm curious about now. That attempt to hoe dirt. I did. And I hoed grass. And... Alright, it, it's hoed. Let me come over here. I have a wheat seed in here, right? Yeah. I have no idea. It'll give me a bone apple and some XP, but... Oh, here we go. Amazing and destructive. For five minutes, it will immensely increase the growth rate of your plant, allowing you to harvest huge yields of product. At the end of five minutes, though, it leaves the soil completely dead and your plant unable to ever grow in it again. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, I think I've put that over here, right? Uh, yeah. 
goes. More wheat, why not? Restoring fertilizer that's made by overgrowth. The only way to bring it back is with restoring fertilizer. Two fertilizers cannot be used on the same soil or on the soil at the same time, though. Okay. Where do we get this? Oh, wow. Um, yeah, that's just, okay. <laughs> Pretty in-depth. Got it. Okay. So I tilled it, I planted it, and stuff's growing, and this quest is just like, nope. We just have this one here, which is Chakaranda sapling and overgrowth seed. Okay. Put that away too, I guess. Alright, so I'm in editing mode right now, and attempt to hoe dirt the task here. It's the only task for this quest, which I went ahead and I just force completed it, because it looks to me like it's not a secret. Toast is not disabled. Tags. These for themes are QJS events. There's nothing here. I'm guessing that was a based off of a QJS event, and they forgot to include it here. That's the only thing that I can see that might trigger that task. So, hmm, no idea. Uh, what do we got here? Emergency repairs. Okay, let me... Um, go. Double discovery. It seems the environment is still too harsh to support life. This is dire news indeed. We're going to have to attempt to bootstrap your agricultural expansion utilizing the simulation matrix. Using the simulation matrix, we can... Oh, I wonder if it had to be outside for me to do that. Might have been it. Still, is like nothing was showing up in there. Uh, using this, we can materialize pre-encoded biome slivers we digitized before the fall. The only problem is the overload has rendered the quantum bridge to the Nexa inoperable. Head over to the emergency repairs chapter to initiate repairs. Okay. And then this will give me a bone apple and some XP. Um... Emergency repairs. Okay, yeah, got it. That's already done. And what's up with here? Miniature biospheres. Anticipating some species of flora being particularly strained in the environment, our scientists devised miniature biospheres called garden cloches. You should find a growing array towards the back of the agricultural wing. You'll need to arrange for some power to be provided to them, but they should be piped with a small reservoir of water already. Mm, kind of. Need logs, oak logs here. Does seem hardy enough to at least support trees. You can make a patch of dirt out here to get a small tree farm in order to get planks and charcoal. And flint shears is a thing. Need a flint block. Right, um, I'm going to call this an episode here shortly. But first... I want to check on my crossbreeding stuff here. This stuff here is not being crossbred. It's just there for harvest. We got it. Stick read. I got one seed out of that, though. All right, cool. I should have punched that instead. If you left click when it's fully grown, it just pops the seeds out for you, and you don't have to worry about it. Not sure what that is. Carrots, maybe? Possibly. And these guys over here are just saying no more. They're not going to grow at all. Yeah, I need my... There we go. Analyzer. What is up with this stuff? Amp. Make paper, we can make plant balls. We can make industrial hemp fiber from immersive engineering with it. We can recycle it. Okay. Plant balls, we can do the whole thing. 
Uh, plant piles is something that, yeah, definitely in the future that would make a good power source once I get into some IC2 stuff. But the problem is I need to get iron before I can even start that. I need iron, I need copper, I need all of the wonderful stuff. All right, but we got our stick reeds, finally. Um, fertilizer. That means we can start getting rubber made. And once we get rubber, then we can make the hazmat suit. And we can actually start exploring the surface and try to find stuff and bring it back. Up until we get rubber, we're kind of sort of stuck here. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, this is Science signing out. Have fun.